Okay, here we have what is this device to which we are going to be able to recover in a very easy and very simple way. In this video tutorial we will use a totally different method than the previous one. We always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so that you can solve what is this problem with your device. What are we going to do well? First of all we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do this same process. We connect to the Wi-Fi network and now we are going to explain step by step that since our device has a screen lock, finally it also has the forgotten Gmail account. We are going to click here where it says do not copy. We click where it says do not copy and we have forgotten what this lock pin is that we are going to click here where it says use Google account. That we have also forgotten the Gmail account EH. First of all EH let's explain what this first method is. The method would be as you know previously we entered here it was. EH the SIN car blocked with a pin code. Previously we would need a SIN car blocked with a pin code. We entered the blocked SIN car, then we click here where. It says emergency call. Then here we dial our emergency number from. Your country and then we tapped here. But as you can see this is no longer working, this is no longer working. But EH we are going to bring us another totally different method. What we are going to do is the following. Let's go back, we go back, we click back. Then we go forward, we. Are going to click forward, then we go here where it says Motorola. Policy and privacy, then we go to the last option. Then we go down here we find Motorola.com. We are going to select that option. Then we select what this is, this profile that appears here. We select here what is Google. Google and we select help. Here help let's write password. Password. Let's write password, password. We click on B in search, here a video should appear. We click on the video, after clicking on the video, let's see. We click on the three dots, but those three dots are no longer working. Those three dots no longer work either, here what was. The share option no longer appears, now we see. Here what these options are. Now we see it. What are we going to do now? If we see those, those options that we had previously. Well what we are going to do to be able to recover. Our device is to go back here. We are going to click here where it says policy. Click here where it says policy. It would take us here. We click back now. It would take us back to the beginning. Then we click here on Motorola, we click here on the last option. We go down here and now we are going to enter the profile again. We click here on Google, we select Google, we click here where it says conditions, we select the conditions option. We click here where it says add or access here we are going to create or add an account. We add an account. We add only like this, no we write nothing else. We click on next and now here we are going to write what the password is. You do not have one you would have to create a new one. Since we add the password we are going to click now on next. We click here on next, we are going to click here where it says skip. 
We click now here it says now no and our account is added. We have our account added. What are we going to do now the next thing we are going to do? I am going to settle. We are going to turn off our device, we turn it off. After it is completely off we are going to press the power button. Volume down button at the same time, we are going to press those two buttons, power. Volume down button at the same time, it is. Now we are going to look for the option with the volume down button. We are going to look for the option that says recovery here it is. If we get recovery we are going to click on it. We press where it says recovery here it is going. To turn on here it would take us to this next section. We are going to go down, we are going to click here where it says we anomos. We go down again, we click on yes, we say yes. Then we click here where it says UBIP data factory reset we are going to click on it. Then we are going to go down and click where it says factory data reset. If you get this error it doesn't matter, leave it like that. Don't do anything else, now you click on the power button so that your device can. Restart. Now what we are going to do is wait a few seconds. Until our device completely restarts. And then give it the following configurations. That's why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end. So that you don't miss any of these details so you can recover. Your device. Well here our device is already starting. The good thing about these devices is that they are quick to reset. Now what we are going to do, well, let's click here on jump. We are here on jump, we are going to add now what is our Wi-Fi networks. We click on next, now we are going to wait until we get to the next one. We click here where it says accept and continue. Wait, we are going to wait. Let's wait for it, to load. Right now it will appear here and give you an option to skip and the screen lock will appear again. But don't worry, if you get that screen lock. You're not going to, don't worry, watch the video tutorial. Take step by step so you can solve this problem. It seems that now we are going to click here on. Do not copy and now we would get what the screen lock is. Do not worry, you will click here where it says use my Google account. We wait until it comes out. Here we are going to add the account that we have added there. The account that we have added. We add. We add the account. We click next, now we are going to add the password, as I was telling you. You did not have one you could create a new one, this is the one we are going to add, we add. If you created one add the one you created or if you had. One and added the existing account that you had, well. We enter the password, we click next, here we are going to click here. Here we click here use a new account. Ready. Now when we click use a new account here. As you can see here the padlock still appears, do not worry. Do exactly as we are explaining to you. Now we are going to click here where it says skip. We click skip here it would take us to what is Google services. 
but it seems that it no longer appears locks, we click on accept. We click on skip again. We click on OK. Now we're going to wait, one second. We click on it, we say no now, no now, again, no now. We click on next and we click here on final, finish. We click on finish that easy. And simple we have recovered what is our device. We click here, we click here on continue. We click now here open, we would click on open and we would have our device. Totally ready to be able to use it. You already know if our video works for you, subscribe. Activate the notification bell, leaving a good like, leaving a good comment. That's all for today.